What's up my Shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I'm going to be doing this entire video all about hair. I recently got some questions about doing a curly hair tutorial so I figured I would take you with me and show you step by step including all of the products that I use in order to achieve this look right here. So if you are interested in seeing this video then just keep watching. Alright you guys, let's go ahead and get started with the hair. I'm sorry, there's probably a huge echo, but we are in my bathroom. And I'm going to first show you the hair care products that I use, and then we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about the products that we put on the hair. So I use a few. You don't have to use this many, but I just, I don't know. I like them and I have them, so I like to use them. The first and the most important is the Kerastase Serum Therapies. This is amazing stuff because it is going to strengthen the hair as well as protect the hair. I also do have some of the Kerastase Blonde, it's like a leave-in treatment and this also has heat protectant in it so I like to just put a little bit of this in because I like to utilize it and it's great for blonde hair. So I'm going to put some of that in. And then thirdly, I'm going to put in the um, Biolage Smooth Proof and this is just some serum to make the hair shiny, healthy, and less frizzy. So I usually do two pumps of the Kerastase and as you can see, this is a dual serum. It's got two sides that come out. I usually do one pump of the blonde and then three or four pumps of the oil. And then I mix it together, and here we go. So I'm just going to evenly coat this through the hair, and I like to do it as early as possible when I get out of the shower, because if the hair starts to dry, I feel like the less control you have. So the earlier, the better. So I'm just going to evenly kind of just rough this up and distribute it through the hair. I love to make sure I'm getting it on the parts that need it the most, which are the bangs and everything in the front. I also do like to go in and easily, as much as I can without kind of ruining the curls, you know, comb it through with my fingers and not actually use a comb because when I use a comb, I feel like it definitely does not curl the same. So I like to just use my fingers and then I go back in and kind of rework the curls and work the product through the hair. Okay, so moving on, we are going to use our last two products. I know that seems like a ton, but I promise it'll totally be worth it. So there's also a method behind this madness. Anyone that has grown up with curly hair understands the struggle and the balance between finding curls that are soft and voluminous, but not crunchy. Unless you're into that sort of thing, but you know, my high school days are over and the crunchy look is, you know, no more. So I have found a product and I believe this in combination with the other is what is really working. I don't think they have to be exact, but these two categories I think are what really work together. I have tried gel, I've tried mousse, I've tried, you name it, the milk product, everything, this girl has tried it. So for me right now, this is what's working. And it's the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Cream. And I love this stuff. If you use it by itself, I don't think it's as good as when you use it in tandem with something else. So I use about a quarter size. It's just a cream and I'm going to lightly work it through the hair. And as I'm going through, by the way, it smells divine. As I'm going through, I do like to scrunch again because as I'm raking through, you know, you're really acting like a comb, so you're sort of breaking up those curls. So I wanna make sure that I am reactivating them so we do not pull them out because mine are not super, super tight. So once they're pulled out, it's a wrap for me. The game is over and I have to start all over again. So I like to make sure that I'm working the product through the hair, but more importantly, scrunching the hair as well. And my problem child 
is definitely my bangs. I mean, I have to give them so much TLC, you just, you can't even imagine. So I like to, especially, I like to spend a lot of extra time making sure that I have curled them, making sure that they are nice and wavy, putting extra product in them, spending extra time on them with a diffuser. I mean, the things we do for our hair. So now that I've worked that in and it is feeling like it's drying a little bit, so I'm trying to work quickly here, time is of the essence. I am going to use my last and final product and this is an oldie but a goodie and you can, like I said, you can get this in probably every brand under the sun or something similar to it. It's just a texturizing sea spray. This one happens to be by Redkin. Again, use what you have. It doesn't have to be exact. I don't know if it's like what's in the bottle, but it helps activate it, I guess. So I'm gonna spray this all over, which will also help kind of reactivate those curls because it'll get it nice and wet again. So I'm gonna spray it and scrunch it, flip it over. Give it a good spray and scrunch again. And another thing this is going to do is it's gonna work with the softness of this curl cream and kind of balance it out so we get a little bit of a texture. So we're not gonna get anything super harsh like a gel, but we are going to get texture. And that's what I wanted because when I was using the gel cream alone, it was too soft for my hair. Um, but when I use this, or just gel or just mousse, it was too hard. So it, it's about balancing and finding what works for your hair. And again, just going through and making sure you're constantly, repetitively paying those curls attention, making sure that you're just scrunching them up you're being gentle with them. And as you can see, the more wet the hair gets, the more those curls are reactivated. I'm gonna give them one last douse and then we're going in the diffuser. So as you can see, we've got a nice base going on. We're gonna hurry up and get to work. Okay, so I like to use my GHD blow dryer. I love this. I did this in a haul a while ago and I think it's a fantastic blow dryer. I, it does not get insanely hot, but I like that as well because I can hold the tools on my hair longer. So pros and cons like everything else in the world, but very nice, very high quality, super long cord, gets the job done. I don't feel like it damages my hair, so we're gonna use that today. We are also going to attach a diffuser and it does come with the attachment piece, but it did not come with an actual diffuser. So I put the piece on the front and I have a diffuser from, you know, the dinosaur days and you can get these anywhere. And I just push it on the front and hope for the best that it doesn't come flying off. Of course, you can, I'm sure, buy the attachment from GHD, but again, we're using what we have, people. We're being resourceful. There, it's on and it's ready. So if it goes flying off, don't judge me. So I'm going to try to talk through this while I'm using this. If it's too loud, then I'm going to do a voiceover. So we're gonna put it on the hottest setting, the highest setting, and we're gonna to go to work. Repetitiveness is the key here. So again, because this is not super duper hot, we are able to stay on the scalp a little while longer, which I love, because that can really get that nice formation in the curl. So I like to just take the hair, put it on the diffuser, put it up to my scalp and kind of rotate it back and forth. You can go in a circular motion if you want as well. That kind of gets that curl going. And then we're gonna release it. And we're going to move on to the next section. And sometimes, if I'm having trouble with an area, I will help guide it so that I can get the preciseness that I want in the curl. So again, just rocking it back and forth. We're going in circular motions, whichever you prefer. I don't really know that there's a difference. And look at that. We're getting some curl. So now the front is the most important. If you don't get the front right, everything's messed up. So I like to twirl this, you know, as we're getting a hand cotton in the table. It's rolling. So I like to just take it, wrap 
pop it up at the top and go in a circular motion. And then I'm going to flip my girl over and we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Now here's what I feel like is a very important part. Curls have a mind of their own. If you think you can control them, please call me and let me know how because I haven't been able to for 33 years. So as you can see, this hair is falling where it wants to. If I, I it, ideally, I would love to part it down the middle and just have a nice little, you know, hairdo, but that's not the case. So we're going to work with what shape it's giving me. And right now it's giving me this funky part and it's giving me a side part. There are a few hairs that are out of place, but I feel like we can work with this. So what I'm going to do next is put in my hairspray. This is the last step. I would like to point out at this point that the hair has got some texture to it, but it is not crunchy. It is still very soft, if you can tell. Okay, so we've got softness, we've got a little bit of texture, but I like to make sure that I am going to keep the longevity of the curls throughout the day. So in order to do that, I'm going to set it, if you will, kind of like a powder on the face, and I'm going to set it with some hairspray. Now, there are two kinds. We have our nice Flexible Hold Hairspray by Amiga that I love and I get it from TJ Maxx and it is their touchable hairspray and this stuff is smells amazing and it is amazing. Now we're having some stubborn friends that need to be put in their place. That's what she is for and it is exactly what it is and it is helmet head. It will make those hairs wish they were dead. So with that being said, we're first going to go over just a, a nice spritz of the flexible spray to kind of get the baby hairs down, get our, you know, hold kind of in a temporary place as we always do, as I'm choking, we're going to scrunch while we work. You never want to not be scrunching because you're going to just increase the volume of the hair and increase the longevity of the curl. See there? Curls for the girls. Curls for the girls. Okay, now see, this is what I'm talking about. There's always one rebellious one in the family. Why? Like, just, I mean, it's going towards the front. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, that's 
that's what the hairspray is for. We're just gonna tuck him underneath and then we're gonna hairspray him down to his sister back there. Okay, so finishing up the back. Do not forget the back. You don't want the front to look nice and then the back to look like dog turds. We're gonna tuck, we're gonna move gently, we're gonna fluff. We're just gonna kind of play with it to get it exactly where we want. And when we feel we have achieved that, we're gonna go ahead and spray it down. All right, how are we looking? Are we happy with the curls? So you are gonna have a couple pieces that like right here to be like skewers and just they're like straight down. So I just kind of crimp the edges of them and just kind of softens the curl. And that is it my friends. This is my curly hair tutorial. All right, you guys, that completes this curly hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I will link everything in the description box down below, including the products. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.